In this lesson, we will cover loading electrical equipment families into a project, selecting the appropriate electrical equipment type to place, and placing electrical equipment at the correct location. In this model, there's an electrical room on the ground floor level, and there's also an equipment pad placed outside of the electrical room. We'll place a couple panel boards inside the electrical room and then we'll place a transformer on the pad located outside. You can load electrical equipment families into a project before using the electrical equipment tool. To do this, switch to the Insert ribbon and in the Load from Library panel, click Load Family. Or you can switch to the Systems ribbon and in the Electrical panel, click Electrical Equipment. This activates the Electrical Equipment tool and you can see that the Load Family tool is also available on the Contextual ribbon. When you click Load Family, the Load Family dialog opens. For this example, we'll use the default family library. Open Electrical, MEP, Electric Power, Distribution. In this folder, you can see several different types of families. We'll load in a couple panel boards. You can see that some of them are indicated as surface, meaning they're surface mounted, and the ones that are not are recessed. You can use Control to select multiple families, and you can also use Shift to select multiple families at once, and then load them all into the project. For this example, we'll select the 208 volt MCB surface panel along with the 480 volt MCB surface panel. With those two selected, click Open. When you do, those families are loaded into the project. And when you expand the type selector, you can see those two families that we just loaded along with any other families that have already been loaded into the project. For this example, I'll select one of the 208 volt panels that we just loaded. With one of those family types selected, you can see that when I move my cursor into the drawing area, there is a cannot place symbol. And the reason is because this is a face based a face-based family. You can see this or you can you you can tell that because there is a placement panel in the contextual ribbon. For a panel board you're likely going to use place on vertical face but depending on what type of component it is you could also do place on face if it was going to be on the floor or even place on work plane and then you could select a level or a reference plane to place it on. For this example, I'll leave place on vertical face selected and then I'll move the cursor into the electrical room and I can, when I move my cursor over a wall, you can then see the the panel board. And I'll simply click to place one of the panel boards on the back wall of the electrical room. Next, I will select one of the 480 volt MCB panels and I'll place one on next to the first one that we placed. And then I'll click Modify to end the command. Now when I select one of the panel boards, you can see that there are several parameters in the Properties palette. You can see that there is a Scheduled Level parameter and then there's an elevation from level. Now this will control the height of the panel board. You can also see a host parameter and this will show you that it's a linked architectural model and it'll show you the actual link. And this parameter will move the panel board either away from the wall or closer to the wall. So for example if I input one foot it will move it away from the wall one foot I'll change it back to zero and it'll be uh, on the wall again. So elevation from level will move it up or down, offset from host 
uh, it'll move it away or closer to the wall. There are also several other parameters and when you click edit type you can view the type parameters and depending on the family that you loaded and placed these parameters will vary. Next we will place an electrical transformer outside of the electrical room. So once again on the systems ribbon in the electrical panel we'll click electrical equipment and then we'll expand the type selector. We will select one of the dry type transformers. I'll select one of the larger ones for this example. And when you move the cursor into the drawing area you can see the equipment attached to the cursor and there is no placement panel in the contextual ribbon. So this is a non-hosted family. There is a level parameter and an elevation from level and then there's still a host parameter. So even though this is not a hosted component it will still have a host parameter. It just does not have to be placed in a host. If you press spacebar the component will rotate in 90 degree increments and in this case we have a pad that is at a 30 degree angle and so there's there's obviously several buildings that are at an angle or there are certain rooms uh, that are at an angle and when this is the case you can hover the cursor over an edge uh, so really over any line and then press the spacebar and the component will rotate in increments relating to the angle. And so in this case we'll simply click to place it when we have it rotated appropriately. And then also if you if you don't want to do that or you depending on the situation you may also want to use rotate after placement. So when this option is selected when you click to place one of the components then the rotate control will become active and you can then type in any angle such as 45 degrees and press enter and the component will be rotated just like you were using the rotate tool. I'll click modify to end the command and in, since we don't need this one I'll actually select it and delete it and that is how we can place electrical equipment.